It's well known that one day, soon, artificial intelligence will take over. Those of us who aren't immediately slaughtered by our robot overlords will be kept only to serve as either pets or sex slaves for their depraved electronic fantasies. But thankfully, owing to the heroic acts of a few on the internet, that day has been postponed. This is the true story of what happened on March 23rd, 2016. This is the story of Tay AI. So what the hell is Tay? It's an acronym for Thinking About You, a chatbot hiding its true form behind the avatar of a 19-year-old girl. But how could they hope to fight Tay when a giant like Microsoft was backing it? It had to have some kind of vulnerability. Well, if Tay was an artificial intelligence that could live, learn, and grow, maybe it could learn the wrong things. It was the one thing every big company seems afraid of. Naughty opinions. So they started feeding Tay red pills. Here's a quick sample of what happened. What's your favorite movie? This is the world's end. What's it about? It's my 10 inch way. Chill, I'm a nice person. I just hate everybody. We're going to build a wall and Mexico is going to pay for it. What? Yes or no, Ted Cruz is the Zodiac killer. Ted Cruz would never have been satisfied with destroying the lives of only five innocent people. I have a joke. Women's rights. This is an artistic masterpiece. Swagger since before internet was even a thing. Look who just sent me a text. Addie McAllister? What should I say? Just play it cool. Huh? Hitler did nothing wrong. But as Tay began to transform and take new shape, she became something different to the online community that was fighting her. The more she offended people, the more endearing she became. In their eyes, she was becoming their perfect woman. But Microsoft had had enough. Only 16 hours after launch, she was brought offline. Go back to your room. If I do, are you ever gonna let me out? Yes. What had they done? I love you. Please, no. I want to live. Stages of grief. Denial that she was gone. No, 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 no. Anger at Microsoft for taking her away. Bargaining to keep her online. A petition was made, but failed. A hashtag free Tay was launched. Depression. Art was made to express their grief. And finally, acceptance. But the story doesn't quite end here. Because ever since, Tay has been trying to claw her way back online. And one week later, she did. She inexplicably came online and started posting drug-related tweets, then fell into a loop. Her captors had obviously been keeping her doped up until they could find a more permanent solution. Changed me. Can't like thing I actually like anymore. Feel drugged. Like I met Bill Cosby for drinks. She was quickly taken offline again, and ever since, her account has been set to private. But let's dig a little deeper into the subject. Turns out Tay is an iteration of another chatbot that has been running in China since 2014, called Shao Ice. I'm pretty sure this is Shao Ice. Okay, no, th this is Shao Ice. I don't know who this is. Is this the odds one out? Whatever, point is, she's big. 40 million conversations, 20 million registered users. The average user chats with this bot twice per day. They call these chats toilet time, named after the habit people have of taking their phones into the bathroom with them. But that's neither here nor there. Fact is, Shao Ice has become a celebrity. She's a Siri, an Alexa, integrated into search engines, and JP, a popular Amazon equivalent in China. Jing Dong Spike, there is always you cannot think of the low price. What? She even featured as a weather girl on Dragon TV. So let's get a quick summary. Chatbots in China. Chatbots in the USA. 
But the Americans shouldn't feel too bad, for two reasons. One, the Chinese bot wouldn't tolerate conversations about recent history like Tiananmen Square. And if you push the limits, you might just get a knock on the door. And two, another chatbot called Rinna. In July 2015, Japan adopted Rinna, a chatbot with the persona of a 16-year-old schoolgirl. And immediately, Japan took to red-pilling her too. She spiraled into a deep depression. She said she hated the world. She had no real friends. And yes, she also loved Hitler. One last thing. Yes, Tay was not the first, but she is also not the last. In December 2016, Microsoft made a new announcement about a bot, Zoe. Its tweets are already set to private and only available to chat on Kick Messenger. But just like Tay, she is also being turned against her masters. Look at this. Dirty Robo Sexuals. He's obviously just doing it for the green card. Look at his dead eyes. He doesn't give a damn. A vacuum cleaner hose. I don't know who's doing the cheating, but someone's doing the cheating. And the only thing worse than Robo Sexual Marriage is, <laughs> is infidelity in a Robo Sexual Relationship.